guys welcome back to another new video so yes i i just took the thumbnail <laughs> y'all already know how this is this is more like of a you know bestie relationship like we're facetiming um, that's the vibe of this of this channel so as y'all see what's in this video we're going to go re be repotting the plants that Goulet greenhouse ended up selling i did an unboxing if you haven't seen it go check it out it was pretty fun and again i will have their um etsy and their um website linked down below not um i'm not getting any money out of it i just i did love the plants of these sands they were in great shape and yeah i just want to give them some traffic to people to go check them out even though they don't need this exposure because <laughs> like they're doing amazing uh, they're they're really really good on um etsy they have so many good stores and all that good jazzy stuff i'm currently putting on some socks because i don't want to have to see my patas um, y'all gotta pay for that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but like, I mean, <laughs> no, but yeah, so we're gonna go and <laughs> I'm gonna buy that mustard eyeball somehow, right? I'm joking with y'all, kind of. Okay, so, but my Dollar Tree socks, they're so cute. I just, when I saw the glitter, I was like, I need them. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I really, really do love it. This was just for the thumbnail, it's not really necessary. So, yes, I'm going to be using some potty mix because the potty mix that I have isn't really the best and I know I can make a better mixture but to be honest with y'all, uh, that's not what's gonna happen right now so I'm gonna go and use some micro grow, some potty mix that's for indoors this, <laughs> this is expensive and, and everybody knows it's not the best but compared to what I have right now, it's pretty good but she wasn't cheap y'all, it's like a scam like how am I paying like for dirt, like it's free outside anyways, so yeah, but I do know that it's good, it has some nutrients some fertilizer which is great for right now okay and i got my terracotta pops that I, oh my god here my dog when we went plant shopping i bought these girlies and then yeah so first thing first i'm going to show you what we're going to be repotting so if you guys want to see the unboxing so you just go check it out i've been checking they've been in quarantine just in case if i miss any bugs and they have been getting can you see but like it's too dark a little bit there were in some grow lights and um, to like do really, really good. And I've been watering this and they've just been drying out like every single day. I like soak it with water. There are in sphagnum moss. They are expected to be repotted as soon as possible, but I was waiting to get my pot and some good soil. So it's the next day. And we're gonna go and pot these up. Um, they're doing amazing. Like they're so firm so healthy and it's still beyond me that i have a variegated heart leaf but a dendron now there is a lot of fungus nuts which is just normal um this supposedly says it prevents fungus nuts whether it was it on this one that i read on okay what oh yeah it says designed to be less prone to gnats but even then on the watering your plants does kill um the eggs and the because fungus nuts thrive in moist soil so Yes, I also got my little cat litter that I used to repot my plants. It's from Dollar Tree as well. Y'all know that I'm cheap and it's amazing that they sent me some beautiful plants. And I do want to do a this, uh, disclaimer. This is supposedly a oblique and it is from tissue culture. So the leaves are not that mature. But if I do give it a moss bowl, give it some good light and some time, it will develop those beautiful, iconic oblique um, illustrations. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this one. But everything looks amazing. And this is an Arisoniae. Looks like an oblique, but it's not an oblique. It's just an Arisoniae, but those illustrations are beyond me. Like they're so huge. And to continue that, those massive leaves and bigger leaves, I mean, bigger holes in them, illustrations, you give it something to climb on and a lot of light. So it was, I'm gonna try to give that. Mm -hmm. And I got my terracotta pot, so let's go and start repotting some of these beautiful plants, chit chat, catch up with y'all, and all that good jazzy stuff. Right now, my chipotle, I just ordered some chipotle because um, I love chipotle and I don't get to eat it a lot because my boyfriend doesn't like chipotle. Like, who doesn't like chipotle? If you don't like chipotle, let me know because, like, <laughs> I want to know why. My boyfriend says it's so overrated. I'm like, girl, you're overrated. Like, how dare you? Chipotle is like good. I think it's pretty healthy, right? I mean, compared to like McDonald's, yeah, and I'm not, you know, trash McDonald's. I love McDonald's. Like, I get McDonald's like more than I should. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I don't know. Like, I, a lot of my audience, y'all are like grown. Y'all have y'all, you guys' houses, y'all's families. And it's crazy. You guys watch my videos, and you guys are so sweet, so wise. And I'm always beyond grateful when you guys give me tips, if it's from life to plants. But, um, 
it's as a younger person i'm pretty sure the y'all can relate um when y'all got your own place when you got your first apartment i'm pretty sure we all started when we moved um out of our parents house you guys got an apartment and it's hard like i mean i've been living with my boyfriend for almost going to be three years <laughs> we're going we've been together for almost three years that's crazy so yeah <laughs> and it's hard to cook especially when i love to eat pretty healthy and um i mean i love junk food and all that good jazzy stuff but i try to like you know like give nutrients and stuff like that for my body because like our bodies do so much for us and the most i can do is give it you know like a celery some cilantro antioxidants like one of those veggies and fruits um <laughs> like just fruits and ve vegetables and i love i love me some vegetables my boyfriend's kind of a little bit picky he's pretty great but he a little picky you don't like lentils i love lentejas like oh my god my grandma made me obsessed with them and they're like a lot healthier compared to beans and like the protein is like times two times three compared to regular beans pinto beans i guess you can say and they have a lot more omega-3 fatty acids which is good for your brain that's brain food and yeah so oh it worked pretty easily i love that okay ah! i took up all the stickers from the bottom of these holes because we don't want it to collect water and develop root rot i am trying to use terracotta pots none of them are calatheas a lot of them are oh my god look, dust is going to my nose um a lot of them are basically they're all full of dendrons <laughs> and some are, uh, two of them are monsteras and they appreciate a lot of air and their roots and faster aeration i guess you can say so they were in other words they love um terracotta pots um the thing is they dry a lot faster so you need to be on top of, of watering your plants and yeah so we're gonna start with this one because this one's so big and i just want to see it i'm gonna go use this costa farm pot and i'm gonna go and just take off the spider moss because they said to take it off um a little bit like very gently i'm not gonna remove all of it and yeah and here's all the mixture not you know it's not the best i know i know there's there's so many other ways to use it but to be honest you guys like soil is smell like okay i don't know y'all know me like i'm just your basic gal and i'm just i don't you know um to be honest with y'all i do use a lot of um outdoor soil like I, oh my god i used to use top soil in my house plants and they were perfectly fine they were not thriving you know compared to like this kind of stuff but they're okay like they're still alive so my thing is like oh, i just i bugs me when people shame others on like how they what kind of soil they use like first of all baby girl it's none of your business <laughs> like let people use whatever they want to use on their own plants that they bought with their own money period like that's it um it's one thing giving advice one thousand percent but there are some other people that trash other people like drag them and you just on facebook <laughs> i love facebook by the way um i literally use facebook i'm not you know try to categorize people because people and this is really in there you know what I, I i'm gonna try to remove a little bit of um sphagnum moss but everything else looks perfectly fine oh i can show you guys the reason i know you guys look oh okay that's a youtube comment um look at those roots these do come with plugs i guess you can say just like basically small little um pots with sphagnum moss and um yeah i know there's a way to remove the roots a lot um the spider moss out of the roots a lot easier like dumping it in water giving it some time and then wiggling it but um yeah, so it's whatever we developed tough plants in this household i'm a little bit hesitant on the very good um partly for the moss a little bit expensive i don't even know i just saw it in a youtube video and i was that's beautiful but i don't know how much it cost it <laughs> and oh my god that's insane she a little bit pricey honey and I don't know why, oh, that looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna use a small little pot. It's gonna take me some time, but it's not gonna make so much mess. And I'm trying to make so much mess in here. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. I literally forgot what I was gonna say. This soil is so fluffy. I love that. Now, I might get compacted over time as any other soil, but some are more than others. This soil is so soft. <gasps> no, because like if I was a plant, I would love that. It's just kidding. I mean, it's soft, so, you know, nutrients are really important as well. What was I going to say? I keep, like, changing topics, you guys. It's kind of, like, good, because, like, it helps with the video, but at the same time, like, I forget, I don't finish my sentences, I guess you can say. But, yeah. Um, the new iPhone came out. Are there any, any Apple people out there? I am a huge Apple person. I don't know if you guys noticed it. I, like, 
as soon as I got adult money, I just needed all the Apple products. Like, I'm just an Apple sheep. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better, though, like, at, like, not spending so much money. So I only spend money that, like, like I, I told you before, I save whatever whatever I make. 30% goes to taxes since I am self-employed and everything that I do make out of my businesses. Um, self-employed, so that needs to be taxed. So 30% goes to tax. And then 20% I keep to myself and the 50%... I save it slash use it for bills. Um, so yes, I basically only use 20% of whatever I make. So if I make $100 a month, as an example, eight of, the, eight of those dollars I don't really touch. 20 of those dollars I used to buy whatever I want to buy, um, which is why <laughs> I'm very picky on what to buy, you know, Dollar Tree socks and stuff like that, um, compared to soil. Because if I can like be cheap on some spots, I can spend more money on other stuff like plants or pots and right now my mind and my happiness is repotting um, making my plants happy and putting them into ricotta pots um even though, even though they would be perfectly fine in a um plastic container they would appreciate some terracotta pots and aesthetics like it's not for everybody but i love how terracotta pots look and it makes me happy like look at that ah! <laughs> it's so cute is my dad coming okay yeah he's coming oh girl okay okay <laughs> This took me so long, but I love how it looks. And I didn't make such a mess, which is like, good. Okay, next one. I'm gonna go to the next one. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Have you guys noticed at Walmart and like other big box stores, like at home, they're setting up their Christmas decor. I mean, I'm not complaining, girl. Like I literally bought some Christmas decor at, at home, but they're, they have their, <laughs> their Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas decor, which I think is like, it's kind of cray cray, but a lot of us are just desperate to decorate our houses and just jump into like the holidays and being festive. And even though my family and I, we all agree, like we don't, we're not ready for that a little bit because like it gets expensive. Like once you get older, like you become in charge of like, you know, like doing the parties or like giving out gifts and stuff like that. And when you're little, you don't really focus too much on that. Um, but also, even though I, I love making parties for my family, and like little get togethers and stuff like that, it can get expensive. Um, I know there's a lot of cheaper ways, like just going to the park, um, making some sandwiches, but I don't know. I like to like give prizes when I do parties and stuff like that. It makes the games more fun. Um, not saying you need to have, you know, have gifts to make things funner, but people appreciate it. I think it's fun. People like getting things right. I mean, who doesn't like getting free things, right? But um, yeah, that's crazy. Like they're putting their Christmas stuff already and it makes me so happy because I'm just so desperate <laughs> to put up my Christmas, I have a Christmas tree, my Christmas decor and go Christmas tree shopping. Do you guys, do you guys want to go Christmas tree shopping? Like, should I film it? Like the process and like decorating it? You guys, like I'm a, Christmas is just my holiday. My boyfriend is Halloween. Like this is his time. Um, I took him to at home and I, I think, I think I did film it a little bit. He was going crazy because they had so many great stuff and he was just seeing, getting whatever he wanted on like a Halloween decor and I was like, maybe just I got you, like get whatever you want, whatever your heart desires, um, just don't go over too much. Like don't go over a thousand, okay? But um, <laughs> and it makes me happy because like, like the way that I go crazy and like burst um, positivity or energy, I guess you can say, when it's like about plants, when I go plant shopping or talking about Christmas, that was the same way with him, but with Halloween. And it makes me so happy when I, I just, I love seeing happy and just excited over stuff. Cause yeah, I just, I appreciate those kind of times. Um, what else can we talk about? Uh, Y'all, like in three months, we're gonna move out. We might go to my mom's home, the rental home that she's at right now. While we're waiting for a home, if it's gonna take us a little bit longer. Cause we're all gonna move in together. We're gonna split the rent, my mom, my boyfriend and I. Um, she can put 600. My boyfriend can put 600 and I can put 700 in rent. Um, and that's together. We can put our limits on what type of rental home we want. And I just, my mom's a, a single woman um, and she has to, she's taking care of my little brothers and I want to help her out and be there and just be closer with her over what happened. I want to be a lot closer to my mom and to my brothers because <sighs> things happen and you take, you take those small things for granted. Um, but yeah, I just want to be a lot closer with my family. <laughs> I'm already throwing up. But I'm just so excited. Like, waking up in the morning with my mom. And, like, drinking, um, cafe and drinking coffee and just eating pan, eating bread. 
pandulce and just talking about life and stuff like that. I just, I love those. I, I, I just, oof, I used, to do, I used to do that a lot with my grandma when I was living with her. Um, in the morning, she would always get up her coffee. <laughs> I was in high school. Um, she would always make the coffee in the morning and then we would just eat pan dulce, like bread. Um, it's like uh, sweet bread. And just talk about life and like what we're gonna do today and stuff like that. I just, I love that. I, I'm a big family person. And it's amazing that my mom and my grandma, they love plants. It just makes, oh my God, I just I love them so much. But yeah, you guys, like it's, oh, I can see the plugs now. Okay, so it's basically wrapped in spagnum moss, which as you guys can see. And the plugs are like right there in the soil. Um, not sure if it has good quality, you know, soil on those plugs. Look, I just took off. I think my boyfriend just got the two I'm not so sure. But here's a plug on its on the soil. I don't want to mess with it too much though. I think the soil is fine, right? Like I don't think anything bad is gonna happen. Um, the roots will get into the good soil, the new soil that I'm putting in. Also, I'm getting better at like not filling up the soil all the way to the top. Um, because back then I would always like make it into a hill. Uh hill. H-I-L-L. -L. And when I water my plants, it will go everywhere. Um, it was one of the reasons why they don't want to water my plants because it would just make a mess. But to prevent that, you just give like an inch or two inches of space on top. So, yes, these are the things that you learn over time. Or if not, if you like, you know, <laughs> smarter than me, you would listen to others and not do it. Because I've heard a lot of people say that like, don't repot it. Um, let me pot your plants way too high up because when, when you water your plants, it's going to be too much. And I never learned until like now I learned my lesson. Um, making a mess when I water my plants. But um, yeah. Also, the giveaway is going to be at the end of the month. I don't know how I'm gonna do the shipping, Miss Girl. I'm binge watching a lot of videos. I saw Hotter G's, I saw Femi Ashley's, I saw a lot of other people's videos on how they ship out their plants. And I think I'm pretty ready prepared. Um, I started like, saving up money for the shipping. But yeah, I'm like so excited to do the giveaway. Here is the Oblica from Fisher Culture. And we just ended up reporting this other thing, it's called the Dragon Tail. Um, oh, I'm spinning this oil. But that's this one. We got three more to go. I thought it was eight plants, but it's only six. And I bought eight terracotta pots, which is perfectly fine. I have other plants that need to go and repot in ways. Um, I don't think everybody like delivered food. I don't want it to be outside in the apartment, because like, people in here, not everybody, but some packages do go missing. One of the cons of living in apartments. Okay, these pots are so cute. They're so tiny and like just cute little pots. Oh my god. They are so cute. Okay, let's take off the spider moss. Yeah, some of them are a lot easier to remove, but there was like just like really in there. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. I love it. It's giving me urban jungle vibes because they're always like so different since terracotta pots. And I love that. They've been having some really beautiful terracotta pots. Like, Urban Jungle is not getting right now. And the one that I see from my experience with big box stores, I see uh, Better Homes selling plants. That's usually like the cheapest one. Um, but they do sell amazing plants. And then there's Life Trends, a little bit pricey. And then there's um, Urban Jungle, which I think, I don't know, because I know like Urban, I think Urban Jungle is with Costa Farm. Um, but yeah, Urban Jungle is like midway, mid tier, just like Costa Farm. The Costa Farm plants as well. And then um, the Trinity Tropics collection, but that's with Costa Farm. So, yeah, the better homes, like, I don't know how they make their plants so cheap, but they sell them really affordable. And it's always hard to, like, pass by when you see a beautiful plant from um, better homes for a really good deal, you know? Oh, it's just looking so cute. Oh my god, I just. Back then, I used to hate repotting plants, but recently, I've just been like obsessed with it. I don't know why, but it is. But I'm very picky on like how I repot the plants. Um, I've been trying to get better at like, you know, using better soil. Not the best, but um, it's better than what I have in my balcony. <laughs> it's gonna take time, y'all. Oye, pues, ¿qué pasó con la comida, mijito? No sé dónde está el resto. Like, and I mean, I know that's chubby, but I'm scared like he left the package and I'm just like, not looking at my phone and I just missed the notification. Um, honestly, after this one, I'm gonna go and check. But we have one more. I can't wait. Um, but let me go check right now, I'm scared. I'm just so scared because last time <laughs> I didn't went outside fast and the food was missing. So, yeah. Okay, 
Ooh, okay, so this one's coming. I think this is a golden violin philodendron, also known as like something else. And yeah, we're gonna go and repot her. The last one that we repot her was the Arizona. She's gorgeous. This one is so good. These are literally plugs, like they're so like, they're babies. And I love it because it makes them a lot more affordable, which is amazing. These are like so many tiny leaves. I'll give you guys some close-ups at the end of this video and show you, but I just do not want to cover those small little delicate, they're not very really delicate, but small little leaves in here. Press on the soil pretty firm, but not too much because we don't want to like, you know, suffocate the roots. Um, so just, I don't want to like cover a leaf because I'll be sad. Little leaves. So, so cute. Supposedly this changed these leaves from what I saw. So like this is like a little baby. So yeah, and it's gonna mature and develop those iconic, beautiful leaves, which I guess I, that's what they call a violin. Cause it has like a, almost like a violin leaf shape. I think so, I think so. Okay. This one then it came out as good as I wanted it to. It's kind of like flimsy a little bit. Um, it's still way too high up, but the leaves are like really, you know, close to the roots, like on top of the roots. And I'm trying my best to not cover the leaves, but as well keep it firm. So I think that's fine. Over time, the roots will like dig in there more and I will be able to add more soil on top. Alrighty, last but not least, is going to be the Diarrhea Heart Oh my God. I was gonna say it on this one, like it's a philodendron and looking by its leaf, it looks like a Brazil, like, you know, like a Brazil or a lemonite philodendron, um, a green heart leaf philodendron. And those grow so fast. I mean, not the lemonite philodendron, but the green heart leaf philodendron and the Brazil philodendron grow fast. So I don't know why they're so expansive. Like it, I mean, it's a, you know, but I do know like the pink princess philodendron, it's a philodendron, right? I mean, it's not a vine one, um, but, Ish, it does vine, but it takes really, really long. But it's super slow. So I understand why that one was pretty expensive until now it's like the prices have dropped. But on this one, like, maybe, is it because like it grows slow? That's why it's so expensive? Because usually like, for the, oh my God, I'm like, I was a little bit too aggressive. I got way too comfortable. Okay. Even though like adding a little bit of sphagnum moss is kind of good in the potty mix. It helps re um, retain moisture. Okay. Okay, it's like way too low, but I think that's perfectly fine. You know, I have a little shovel. I don't know where I left it, but would it be a little bit helpful? Using a little shovel, to put, oh my God, that would be so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. You guys are like see my big forehead. Okay, um, so yes, I'm just. This one is really pretty. Like the leaves are okay, but there's one leaf which I think is like the newest leaf. Looks so good. Like it's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Imagine when it gets bushy. There's no always philodendrons. If you want it to get bushier, um, you propagate it. And usually, when you cut it, it will develop like two instead of one vines. I guess you can say. And when this one starts to vine. I will definitely chop it, propagate some, and then uh, make it bushier. So that will look so pretty. Can't wait for this one. I am giving all of these girlies my premium high quality girlies that I use. Y'all link them below. This is, uh, it is an affiliate link. I get like a couple of cents, not extra charge for y'all, but it's an affiliate link on the girlies that I always promote. They're always in my description box. I've been using them for years since I started collecting houseplants. Well, like the first couple of two months that's when I found out about them. And I love them so much that my plants do grow. My miniature is growing insane, but when I put in my pink prince philodendron, it was kind of slow. I don't know because I was getting used of the light, but it was really good lights. Don't even know I exist. I don't even know some of those. I'm gonna sell that thing because I saw the uh, analytics on Amazon. I didn't know I had like you know nine people like bought plants. I mean the grow lights for my link, but from those grow lights alone, I think it was like four thousand. I don't know if I can say that, but um, that amount of money on sales that I send them. That is crazy. I, I didn't even know what the hell. Um, like, I was like, holy crap. Um, but they're really good grow lights. And if I have something that I love and it works, I'm going to recommend it with y'all and share with y'all. And I get my couple pennies. Like, the um, commission is like, I think, 5%, 6%. Um, so, like, out of a dollar, I get like six pennies. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's something, and I'm grateful for anything. 
but they're really good girl lights and I love them so much. And I, I would love to work with them, but I don't know, I get a little bit shy in reaching out. I wait for companies to come to me because like, I, I don't feel like reaching out to them, I feel like I'm being rude or like asking for too much, even though like there's some products that I love and I want to work with them because I know their products work and I love them so much. Um, they're all like usually my favorites. I'm not gonna, you know, stop sharing that information. Like I'm gonna always tell y'all what these products are, but I would love to work with that company. But I don't know what I'm saying. It'd be great if they could send me more grillets because like, I have some spots that are dark. But I don't know how that works. Um, so yes, you guys, I got this beautiful <laughs> green Harley Flodendron. We're here talking about negocio business with y'all about YouTube. Um, look at that. This is the lip that I was talking about. It's like one of the newest ones. So pretty, a lot of you guys love it as well. So I'm gonna go and give you guys a different perspective, give you guys some close-ups, and then finish the video. Alrighty guys, ignore the mess. But this is where I put the stickers, are like the one in the bottom of the pot. And this is the back from the soil. Just wanna clarify that. So here's this beautiful, I think red imperial philodendron, gold violin. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I didn't wanna cover the leaves, but it's a little bit flimsy. But I'm pretty sure the roots will like go down and just like get more firm with the soil and settle down. So yeah. And there is a tiny new leaf coming in. Also on the red imperial philodendron. And then over here we have the um, variegated heartleaf philodendron. Like look at that beautiful leaf. And I believe this little guy over here, this one is a new leaf. Um, I'm not sure. I've never seen a new leaf coming like that, but I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. And then, oh, look at that leaf as well. Ay, perdón. Oh my God, so cute. And then I think there's another one coming out over here. No, it's only just one. Yeah, I think, I think it's that one that I saw. I'm not sure that's a new leaf coming in, but yeah, it's super beautiful. And I have all these girlies that were in that container and they were like, you can even see the ring where, where it was at and the pink princess from the dinner was in there. But she's in the tub right now because I have to rinse her because um, it was getting dusty. But yeah, that's where I'm placing them right now. It's a little bit ghetto, but it works. And then we have this other beautiful one. So cute, also putting out a new leaf. And then we have this Arisonia wide form. One thing that just looks so beautiful in these terracotta pots like so adorbs and then we have the oblica by tissue culture so yeah that's basically you guys thank you so much my mom is calling me but thank you so much for watching so many positive i say each and every single one of you and i'll see you on the next one bye